today and it's going to be using of course the items from the June uh, 2018 BoxyCharm and then a couple other items also that I've gotten in previous BoxyCharms. I try to kind of like incorporate previous items too just so you can kind of see because I've started to notice honestly this is my fourth box I think and I pretty much can do a full face like with the products that I've received which is cool that that you get such a different amount of products that at, at some point within four months that you can do a full face with those products so um really cool so I'm actually super excited to be using this palette it was the one that um I think it's pronounced Sol de Janeiro but I mean I don't know if you go to soldehanero.com and you can get 20% off if you use the code BOXY2018. So if any of you guys wanted this palette but you don't have BoxyCharm, you can get 20% off on it, which is nice because I believe the palette was like $28. So 20% will save you some money. So anyways, um, when I was looking at this, I was actually noticing for only eight colors because the colors are so drastic, um, you really can do a bunch of looks with them. So, I'm today, I think I'm going to work with these. I wanted to do the blue, but I'm wearing um, this kind of like olive green color, and I just don't, I think it'll be too different um, for what I'm wearing. So, I am definitely going to be doing this color as like more of a base, and then I want that color to kind of be like a, like almost an inner corner, maybe a, a half halo type of eye. Um... And then, of course, I'll be using the brown for my outer corner because, you know, I do that on everything because I just like to deepen it. I'm not quite sure if I'll incorporate, like, an orangey, like, this Tropico color or uh, Guadalamara color or down here, this red one. I haven't decided. So, we'll just see as it goes. I don't want to do too much because, like I said, I'm wearing this olive green and I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'll do something that'll be, like, ugh, way too blah. So... I'm also, um, the Vintage Company, this was one of the brushes that I got too. So I'm just going to start with this one and just do a base. You guys, if you've watched my videos before, you already know I like to do my eyes first. I don't want to do my whole entire face and then go do my eyes and then get eyeshadow everywhere. I just do not like it. So this is what I will be doing. So this color is that first one. This is La Costa. It's super pretty and honestly probably would make a very good highlight as well because it's pretty like it's a nice subtle but still highlighty color I don't know if you can see it in that lighting but I like it I can see it okay oh okay I'm definitely gonna do the green and I and I hope it's not like so bright that it makes this green look terrible I'm gonna be you know monochromatic today I guess so let me pull out, I feel like I need a different brush for this. Let me make sure this brush doesn't have too much. Okay. I do have to work today, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh yeah, that's bright. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I might be able to tone it down a little bit once I put that brown on there. I don't know. That's pretty bright, though. I forgot how bright these colors are. That's the only thing. Don't get me wrong. I do like the palette. I, I actually really like that there's all these color bright colors in there. But I feel like there are all these bright colors. And then the colors that are matte are not, like neutral colors they're like warm colors which I understand was kind of like the point it's supposed to be like Hawaiian but I feel like there there's only one like more kind of ooh, more kind of neutrally colored to kind of offset all of the bright colors this was super pigmented on my arm from what I remember but it does not it almost is kind of patchy on my eye I don't put eye primer on guys, so when I'm like doing these tests, this is like a no primer test. I just am not, I have a bunch of primers, I'm just not a fan of them. I haven't found one that's like, oh my god, you have to wear that on your eye, or it's the end of the world. I've not gotten there yet. Oh, it's, it's hot. Ooh, speaking of which, I totally got this fan. 
so excited and I'll probably I think I gotta put it on low because last time it was like oh did I not charge it oh no okay well I got two in the meantime I'll show you this one because this is the big one and it just sits look no cord how cool is that anyways I'm in Arizona so it's so hot and these lights make it super hot so I've been trying to uh so this is the small one and this one is cool because I want to show oh low low heat or low so this one's cool it has like four settings on it but what's cool about this is this top part comes out and you can actually stick if you're into um uh, essential oils then this would be the fan for you look you could stick essential oils in there and then it will actually blow the essential oils out around you so if you're into that kind of thing but this one was cool I'm actually gonna be putting it at my station at work um, and or my husband will be borrowing it when he's out in the garage doing his he has a screen printing business so um, but the other one which I need to charge is they're so both of them are awesome they're rechargeable fans and um, so there's no cord, so I don't have to worry about tripping over cord. You could carry it anywhere. Really cool. Anyways, yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. If you live somewhere hot, you need it. In the meantime, where did I just put that brush that I was using? Oh, it's right here. Okay. So, yeah, back to the eyeshadow. It's, it's pigmented looking, but it just kind of feels a little patchy. But I guess now that I just put that first base of it on, it's not so terrible, so... Okay, that doesn't look so bad. A little, it's definitely like monochromatic, a different tone of green, but not so bright and different that it's going to be like, why are you wearing that with that outfit? Now, here's the question. Plus, I'm going to put that inner. I actually might need to put, um, sorry, that was a phone call. Um, I was going to say, I actually probably need to put some sort of like foundation or something on the inner corner of my eye because here's a good brush because that green is pretty pigmented and I don't know if that other color will even show up so let's go yeah I don't use I really need to get that um, what is that stuff that everybody uses? Why can I not remember? Of course, while I'm on video, I won't be able to remember anything. Um, the little freaking tart. Tart. What is their thing that they have that everybody loves? The little bottle. It's like concealer. Whatever it is. I'll remember it as soon as I'm done filming. My memory is so bad. I have it in my... I can see it. Anyways, I really need to get that to try. I still have yet to try that stuff. And I've heard some good things about it. I'm not like a super big concealer person anyways. One, it just takes a lot of time to sit there and like paint your face like that. But, and I'm s like, I do not have patience. But I still would like it just for like days like this when I want to do something like that. Or if I'm like on a day that I'm super trying to glam myself up, it would be nice. So I'm going to do that inner corner. I really don't know how this would perform without my brush being wet. So I usually just use a uh, primer to wet my brush because I like the spray on it. Um, and the primer I'm using today is just the the um, NYX. They're, it's their dewy finish. So it doesn't matter though. I, I, I'll use water. It doesn't matter. Whatever I feel like using at that moment. Oh, this is, look at, that's pretty pigmented you guys. I remember this one being kind of like chunky, so when I did the arms, whoa, whoa, oh my god, I love that, wow, <gasps> you guys, look how pretty that color is, <gasps> I'm so excited right now, oh, this, this literally, just this color right here just made the palette for me. <laughs> <laughs> that is so like literally oh it's beautiful and you know what it probably would like take any color that you use this over it would probably just like take that undertone of that color because it's super super pretty wow 
Wow. Very excited about this. Very. Let me just put just a tiny bit more on this side going out. Okay, so now the only thing is I'm kind of afraid to put anything on my outer corner like it's going to ruin the eye look. Like I was going to use this brown so that it didn't like offset the green, but now I'm afraid. Maybe I'll just do it like right down here on the corner but not bring it up. What do you guys think? Please don't ruin the look. You're probably screaming into the camera, don't ruin the look. Where is, yeah, I'm a freak. I have a specific brush for this outer corner color because it just has to be that way. What did I get in my eye? I feel something. Oh, what is that? There's an eyelash in my eye, sorry guys. Oh, okay. Oh man. Okay. All right, so let me do this eye well that I recoups. Okay. Actually, I kind of like that. I'm not going to do actually a ton of blending up because I don't want to take away from the green. And I kind of like how there's almost a like flare line in the shadow. Do you see what I'm talking about? Okay, I'm not mad about that, and I'm gonna leave it like that. I do not, I don't wanna mess up the green at all. So I actually like that it's kind of a little unblended. All right, all right, you guys. This is awesome. Okay, so that's gonna be it for the palette. I'm gonna put that over to the side. I'm probably gonna be using that in a couple more get ready with me's because there's so many different things you can do with it. And I want to be able to show you guys. Um, that's probably my favorite palette so far. Not that the, the BoxyCharm Pure one that I first got wasn't bad. I was, I'm not really a fan of that ColourPop one they sent. Because I feel like everything is so shimmery. Like, I don't know. I need a, a, a little bit of variation. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'll do my liner next. And I am going to be using that pretty vulgar gel liner that I got in the last box. This stuff... I used it that first time and I was so afraid because I was going to be swimming um, like out in the sun, hot, like sweaty. This stuff is no joke. Like it did not come off. I was very pleasantly surprised. And it would totally last you forever because the bottle is like, like when you get dig in there, like you don't need a lot of it. So I know it's going to, I'll have it for a long time. <laughs> I can't remember how much it was. Um, how much the little card had said it was, but whatever it was, it was worth it because it, it would last. If you, li I've never used a gel liner until I use this kind. So if you like gel liners, although the brushes that they sent made it pretty easy. I'm using this thin one. I'm going to need a little bit more on here though. And, um, it made it definitely made it pretty easy to use. Um, unless it's, oh, here we go. The only thing I'm afraid of with it is putting on t using like too much product on the brush. But I feel like I almost actually need a little bit more product on the brush. So let me just scoop a little more out. It's weird because I'm like trying to scoop it with this tiny little brush. But I don't want to use the bigger brush. I haven't, I haven't ventured there yet, you guys. I'm not that bold. I'm not that bold and I'm not that brave yet. Okay, there we go. There we go. It seems like it dries pretty fast too. Guess we're about to find out, right? Look how easy that goes on. And I'm a, you guys know, if you've watched my other Get Ready With Me's, I'm a pen person. Like I like the pen. Or marker, whatever you want to call it. That's my go-to usually, but this is nice. Now, I will say I have not used it on my underlash yet. Yeah, because I didn't do it for the pool thing. I 
so if you have I'd like to know before I try it <laughs> can you be the guinea pig because that's what I'm afraid of that it's not gonna stay down there because that's usually the biggest weak point for me with a liner is the underneath because my eyes water I hear a child woke up okay that one like flared a little more than the other one so I might have to pull this one out just a little bit more oh my god I just love it look how easy that went on okay all right so let me go ahead and stick the only thing that's weird about this is I never feel like the cap is like completely on so I'm afraid it's gonna dry out but oh actually that time it felt tight okay let's put this go ahead and put this back and stick this over here and I'm gonna use the Bella Pierre oh there's this stuff I've been using and I've only been using it for like two weeks but I swear I feel like it's doing something to my lashes it's by babe lashes I'm a cosmetologist so I got it from um, a beauty uh, my beauty rep but I I want to say it like it's not expensive it's like 65 bucks or something like that but it's like how Latisse is so if you've ever heard of Latisse it I swear to you like I did not use Latisse before um, but it's it must be just like it my lashes and it's been like two weeks are ridiculously growing like I took a before picture and I haven't taken an after one yet because I wanted to wait I think it says it takes like six weeks or something like that to take full effect um, of you using it like once a day every day and then after that to maintain you only have to do, only have to do it like a couple times a week or something so I was like, mmm, we'll wait, and then I'll take the after picture, but I can already tell a huge difference. The next thing I'm going to be doing is perming my lashes, because my lashes literally stick straight. They do not curl whatever, whatsoever. So even though they're long, you still can't see them, <laughs> which annoys me. So I will be perming them. I just need to uh, go back to the beauty supply and find myself a permer. Actually, maybe I'll do that on camera for you guys. That way you can see it happening. I think I can. I think I can handle that. Okay, so the mascara that I'm using is the um, Bella Pierre. This also came in a boxy charm. I don't love it. I, it's not that I don't like it, and like I've said multiple times before, I'm not like a huge mascara. Per like I'm not the person to like get you know mascara advice from because I wear falsies so often. So it'll do the job for putting falsies on, but it's not my favorite. Like if I had to choose between this and the inexpensive e.l.f. mascara that I have, I would totally choose the inexpensive e.l.f. mascara. So. Crewman, what are you doing? What are you doing, bud? Hi, bud. Daddy's downstairs. He said, peace. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to be on camera. I'm out. Okay. So, hmm. Okay, I guess it's time for these lashes. I'm not going to lie. I'm not excited about this part. How much were these lashes again? These were the Baddington lashes. I feel bad saying that. Okay, I'm excited. I got them on a BoxyCharm, and they're, it's totally worth the money anyways. I'm just used to my cheap lashes with, like, super thin bands, and every time I use a lash that has, like, a thicker band, it, like, makes me, it gives me anxiety because I know that all day long I could be, like, picking at my eyes, and I don't want to be like that. So, yeah, these are normally $28, and these are Monroe Silk Lashes. And they're pretty, don't get me wrong. I just, $28 for a pair of lashes is just not going to happen. Like... I just can't like they better put themselves on for $28 okay let me just see I don't even know which one would go in which eye they must be interchangeable okay so I will say right off the bat I am excited that I pulled it off and it kept the curve because a lot of times they don't keep the curve on the lash and that annoys me so bad I do not like Oh, I, if I don't have to wrap it around my finger, it's better. It's just better that way. 
So, I am excited about that. I am also excited that they actually look like they flare up with the curve. So, we'll see though because that does not mean shit. Once you get them on your eyes, that's just it. Okay, so the glue that I've been using is going to be the, um, it's the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. I am going to be grabbing this other kind that my mom has though because she said she just paints it on her eye first and then lays the lash on there and that it works amazing. So I really want to try it and it is also a black one. And I like the black eyelash glues much better than like the clear ones because they don't dry like they still dry kind of shiny but not as shiny as the clear or the white ones do. And I always do that. Okay, here we go. So let's just, uh, here we go. Okay, I'm actually going to set this here for a second and I'm going to put glue on the other one because I feel like that will give it a chance. It'll make it a little faster for you guys and you don't have to sit here. That's probably got, I know that's why other YouTubers go put their lashes on and come back. So you don't actually have to sit and watch them struggle with lashes, <laughs> but I hate editing. So you're going to watch me or walk away from the computer for a second. It doesn't take me that long. So, Ooh, these actually have a really not, Oh my goodness, girl. That is a freaking. Okay, I know they're there, but it's not like terrible right now. I'll let you know in a couple hours, but I do know they're there. So let's do the other one. This is the eye that always is like annoying on the inner corner for me. Which means it'll probably be like that today because it looks super curved on this lash. I do not like that. Why is it like that? The other lash wasn't. Oh, okay. It's letting me bend it up. It's dry enough that it's letting me bend it up. Okay. That I can handle. That I can handle. These are super pretty. What do you guys think? They're pretty. They're not terrible. Like, I know they're there. That's annoying me that I know they're there, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna bring these to Vegas, you guys. Like, these are nice. <laughs> okay. I still don't think I would spend $28, but they're nice. I'm, I'm actually more excited now that I have them on because they look very, very flary. Yes, I just rhymed. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. I like them. Ooh, okay. All right. That made me happy. I'll be happy the rest of the day. Well, okay, wait, let me do the rest of, let me do the rest of the box and then I'll let you know. Okay, so another item that came in the box was this uh, liner. And this is by, I don't know, I might freaking mispronounce this too, but I'm thinking it's Jaunta Blue. Um, and it is just their charcoal eyeliner pencil. So I am going to use that on the underneath of my eye. And I'll let you guys know if it, uh, if it actually ends up, you know, raccooning me later. Because a lot of times, that's what these do. I will already tell you that not much is happening to it. And no, I do not want to sit with a lighter and burn it. This is the one thing that sucks about pencil liners like this is I just don't feel like they do quite as well as other ones. It's also a charcoal, so I know it's not supposed to be black. I'm not a huge fan of that. It's just not a dark enough color for me. 
especially with my eyes being so dark right now. Maybe if I was doing more of a natural eye, it would be different. So I'll have to use it like on a day that I'm just not doing as much. But for right now, that's just not my favorite. But I would say I will say that I think it was only like five bucks, which is yeah. And it's 100% vegan and they're waterproof eyeliner pencils. So maybe if I would have gotten it in black or something, it would have been a little better. But for only $5, not terrible. We'll see if it's really waterproof though. Because a lot of them say they're waterproof and they're not. Alright, so I am going to go ahead and put on my face portion. And I have still been using, yes, still... I've still been using the uh, Maybelline Matte 24 Hour and um, and then of course my usual L'Oreal. And honestly, I'd probably use the whole just this because I do like it, but the color I got was a little too dark. And um, because it's a full coverage, if you sweat or anything, the littlest bit, well, for me at least, you can see lines. So I've actually been putting my L'Oreal Infallible, which is more of that in medium coverage. And it is too light of a color, this one that I have, because I had this one from wintertime. Now it's summertime and I'm tan. And so I'm just mixing them together. I'm like, whatever, you know, it'll work. And the medium coverage kind of offsets the full coverage, so at least it's not, I don't have any lines when I'm sweating, which is nice, because that is a major, I hate that. Like, when you go somewhere and you just see a girl and she's got, like, a huge line, like, on her neck or something, I... It drives me crazy. If you ever see me out somewhere and I have a line, tell me. Tell me I have a line. Don't let me walk around like that. Don't be that person. <laughs> Alright. I really, really like this eye look today. Like, I'm... I was not as excited about the box, this box when I opened it, but that palette, I think... And the lashes just kind of... I don't know, they did it for me, you guys. They did it for me. And I was not excited about the... It's not that I wasn't excited about the lashes. I like lashes. Like, I'll send me lashes in every single box, man. Shit, if I don't have to pay for them. Well, I'm paying for them, but you know what I mean. If I don't have to pay $28 for one pair of lashes. Now, I do know with having a thick band that they do last longer. You know, they're not like my little cheapy ones where, you know, you pull one thread of hair on accident and they're, they're gone. So, which is a huge thing. So these, actually, I will say that now that it's dry, I know that they're there way more than my other lashes for sure, but they're not going to bother me. Like, they're not going to bother me so much that I won't be able to wear them, like, if I go out somewhere, so. Okay, um, I am going to use... I know a lot of people were not excited about this. It was the Pure Sculptor palette that they got in the last box, but I actually have been loving it. And I forgot to mention, it smells really good. Like, does anybody else's smell like, like whipped topping or something? I don't, I don't know. Whatever it is, every time I open it, I get this whiff and I'm like, oh, it still it smells delicious. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I have actually, I've not been using this color, but that's probably going to be like an outer corner color when I run out of one of the millions of browns I have. Um, but I have been using the color Inventor, this one, as a contour, and then I've been using Originator as a highlight a lot. I have not touched Trailblazer as a highlight, but I, but that would not be a bad color to use. And actually, I'll use that today because either of those colors will work for a highlight for me anyways. So where is my... Contour brush. Did it disappear on me? Oh, it's underneath all these. Okay, so I do like this um, contour color because it's not, it looks like it's going to be super dark, but once I get it on my face, it actually is really nice and not too much, which is huge for me because I don't like a super liney contour if I can help it. Like, I just want just that little tiny bit. And I don't sit and do a ton of contour on the rest of my face. It's not that I don't like it. I just am super impatient. And sometimes I feel like it's not really necessary. Like, I just spent all that extra time on that and it's not that necessary. So, that's just my personal opinion. There is not a blush in here. If I could have said one thing that they could have done is instead of putting, you know, like these two contour colors in there, taking one of them out 
either one and sticking like some sort of blush color in there would have been humongous because it's like that perfect little size that it fits right in my travel bag. Um, normally I would use a blush that I got out of BoxyCharm, but the Pretty Vulgar Eye Blush that I have, it's not that it's not pretty and I love how bright it is. It, I just am not going to put it on with this face today because I feel like it will be too bright of a color for what I have. So I'm actually going to go with my Milani and it's their Romantic Rose color and I love this color. This is my new favorite blush. Like, I don't know what it is. This color doesn't even look like it would be that noticeable, but when you get it on, it's like the perfect, like rosy, it really is like a romantic rose color. It definitely, it does its job. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So if you're looking for a blush that's like a little bit of a more natural color, that Milani one is the blush to use. Oh, oh no, I didn't use the foundation brush, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna use it next time. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited I didn't use it. <laughs> I was not excited about this. I will use it my next get ready with me, I promise. I will use this freaking foundation brush. I will make it happen, but I'm not mad about this time. However, this one is a tapered highlighter and this one was precision foundation, which is weird because, so there's like two foundation brushes. Oh, this is a powder brush. So this was supposed to be the foundation brush. Okay, I don't use powder. So I will use that foundation brush. I will, however, use this brush, which looks like the foundation brush anyways, like they pretty much were identical. I will use this, this is a tapered highlighter and we are gonna do trailblazer. So, this is not a bad highlighting brush, but, you know, I don't know if I would spend the amount of money that these brushes cost for a highlighting brush. I feel like hi like a highlighting brush you could so easily get pretty much anywhere at any cost. That's just me. So, yeah, I like this highlight. Not too much, but just enough. God, this palette smells so good. Like so bomb. All right. The next thing I'm going to be using, actually, you know what? I'll wait to do that. Um, let me do my eyebrows real quick. I won't take long for you guys. I'll do them super fast because I really want to, um, where, where is it? Oh, okay. I'm going to do that girl actic. That I was not excited about either. Because the last, like, I don't even know how many boxy charms is literally matte lip paints and everything. And I do like matte lip paint. It's, do not get me wrong. I love myself some matte lip paint. But every single box, like, send me a gloss. Jesus. Send, send me something different. Or a, light, a lip liner. Send me a lip liner. Something that's a little bit different from every single box. Because it's been the... It's been the past four. It'd be one thing if they like switched it up and, oh, I have a crying child downstairs. I wonder what happened. It'd be different if they like switched it up and did like a matte lip paint one time and then like a lip liner the next box and then, you know, a lip gloss the box after that and then another matte lip paint and had them kind of in different colors. Every single color is like this color. What the heck? Like at some point I'm done with those colors like I have so many of that kind of like Like I don't even know what that is like a, a pinky Nudie, I don't know whatever it is. I have so many of them like berry kind of color. I don't know I'm just over the matte lip paints for a little while. I have my own line so <laughs> I already have all those matte lip paints anyways and even if you didn't have your own line, they're sending all such similar colors. And I know that that's like a color that everybody likes anyways, but I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I probably, I wouldn't even be mad if it was a color that I didn't normally use that I would get because at least it would help me kind of like go outside my box and use something a little different. Like honestly for this one, because they had the Hawaii palette, they could have sent me like a brown or even a green lipstick and I would have been like oh let's make it work because I have all this stuff like let's make it work for this look 
it'll give me a chance to get outside my box and, and just try something. Like, the whole point of these boxes, well, the whole point I see these boxes for is to be able to try new, you know, different makeup that I wouldn't normally buy. And, you know, of course those brands are hoping that you do like it and that eventually you do buy it. So, that's my thought process at least. Okay, I think... I don't want to be too much on the brows because I got some bold eyes going on, but hold on, baby. I'm filming a video. I'm filming. I'm almost done, okay? Can I say hi to you? Are you wearing... Yes, you can say hi. Hold on one second, though. Let me do this without you uh, running into my eyebrow because <laughs> my eyebrows are important. Okay, I think I did just actually ruin an eyebrow slightly. I don't know if anybody at work will notice though, so we're good. I mean, maybe they were. Uh oh. All right, you want to say hi real quick and then go back down to daddy? Because he heard you. Yes. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if they could see your hair bling in there. My mom she spent the night at my mom's house and my mom did hair bling on her. Ooh, you need a hair brush. Oh my god, it's so cool. I have it up on my Mercari, because our company actually sells it. So I'm like, oh, I'll put it up on my Mercari if anybody wants it. Um, but you literally just tie them in. So cool. I've done it on my hair too, but it's fun for kids, you know? Not that it's actually not fun for adults. We have a lot of them do it for like special occasions, because they come in so many colors. But it's when you get out in the sun, it's so blingy. Like all you see are these like shiny strands of tinsel in people's hair. Okay, all right, so I got that. Let is just do a little finishing spray. And we'll go ahead and apply this matte lip paint. Um, I don't think this color will be too much from what I remember with this eye look, so. Yeah, no. Mm. I'm not gonna lie though, this doesn't even feel like a matte going on. It actually feels more like, um, she's fine. It actually feels more like a, like a cream. So we'll see how long it lasts. Because a lot of times the creams, on me, my lips are so dry that they're gone so fast. Okay. This fan is a lifesaver. I'm not sweating while I'm applying my makeup. It's very nice. Okay. The color is a little much for this eye look and this dress. I didn't think it would be, but it is. I wonder if I could just salvage this a little bit. Hold on. Like, tone it down just a tiny bit. I actually don't even know if that really worked. <laughs> Mom, look, my hair's growing. Mm-hmm. Very beautiful, baby. Ah. Are you doing lipstick? Kind of. Okay. That's better, right? Okay, I'll put a gloss over it, and I think actually that'll work better. It's still dark, but it's not like how it was, so I'm okay with that. So, you guys, I love the eyeshadow. I'm so excited. Mommy. So excited. Okay, that's good. Hold on, baby. Hold on, okay? All right, that's going to be it for my BoxyCharm Get Ready With Me video for BoxyCharm June 2018. And um, I hope if you watched my unboxing that you ended up watching this video too, because... I feel like I was a little disappointed with the unboxing, but now that I've used the stuff on my face, I am more excited about the box. So, I like it. The eyeshadow palette, to die for. The lashes, I'm really actually excited about the lashes. So, I'm excited about this look. It's been actually a little bit since I've done 
a full, like a more glam, I don't know if I'd call this full glam, but you know, a more glammed up eye look, you know, because I've been doing a lot of swimming and stuff for the summertime, so this was exciting for me to do. Mommy. I got some inspiration. I'm gonna be doing a little mini girls Vegas trip, so I got some inspiration for my Vegas trip right here. <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm gonna get off right now because if I don't, I'm gonna have a child that will not stop bothering me. So, I will see you guys in the next video, and if you've used any of these products, let me know in the comments. I would love to know. Bye! Bye.